Welcome back to day two of Dayton Snow. Day two would be Tuesday. This was Monday, day one. Snow was falling pretty hard. Large, 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 large flakes. We were just getting ready to do our walk, trying to keep up our streak of over two years, not missing a day. So, time to walk. Jan is getting hey. uh, her cell phone ready. We had the awning out to protect our porch because the tolerance between our door and the deck is minimal. And here TJ and Becca are getting back. He's got a four-wheeler. That is a four-wheel drive, I should say. TJ's the safety officer for South Ray County. His county number is 705, 705. Problem, can't back up. The backup camera covered with snow and Becca also made the license plate visible. Okay, that's good. Go ahead. Go ahead and back up, what an oxymoron. Snow's let up a little bit. So this morning, we woke up looking like this. We had all of our blinds drawn and as a result, it did keep the heat in, sort of acted as a, a mini insulation storm window. We did it on all of our windows, but it meant that the window froze over, all the moisture that had hit the glass froze over. But after Jan cleared the spot, so she could see out, she was surprised at what she could see. And as the day went on, the entire window defrosted so we could see out. That's still how things are here. We tried to get out, but we couldn't get out because the deck had expanded a little bit it had gotten moist, it had frozen, and it expanded. So Cherry and Wes had to come over. Cherry used the blow dryer. Wes used his tools to clean the snow and ice. And I finally got out. Well, that's no good. If we're an emergency, if we had a fire, we had to get out, we would be in trouble. So time for drastic action. My first thought is if a semi is going to go under a bridge and the semi trailer is a little too tall, they can let air out of the tires and squeeze under. So that's what I did. I checked the air pressure. It said that the maximum pressure, oh, I see it says 80 pounds. Well, I was at 40 and I took it up to 55. It was still not enough to raise it up. So time for more action, this time really drastic. So I got the skill saw and the sawzall, and I took a chunk right out of the 4x4 post. Released one post, took it to my chop saw, Took about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little more, three quarters of an inch, and then put it back in place. It is slowly settling. 
and the back one is now touching at this time. The front one is still working its way down. So now we can get in and we can get out. And when weather improves, I'll do a little more work there. But this is what the road looks like this morning. Snowy, icy, and it was a bit windy. And looking up the drive. Looking the other direction, down the road, this is what we could see. So this is where we did our walking today. On top of the snow, because there was a bit of sleet last night, it was crusty. I'll let you hear the sound. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed.